my name is Isil Khan and in this short video we'll learn what's a traverse and what are its types. So what's a traverse? A traverse consists a series of straight lines. Remember a straight line, right? There must not be any curved line. So a series of straight lines of known length related one another by known angles between the lines. So it means this series of lines should make an angles. If two lines are parallel to each other, this is not a traverse of course, right? And further, the points defining the end of the traverse lines are called the traverse station. So in the definition we learnt of course, the traverse should have straight lines, not any curved type lines. And they should make an angles maybe internal angles or external angles. In short form, of course, we can say a geometric shape is a traverse which can be used for the purpose of serving. Alright, now let's go ahead for the types of traverse. And of course, we have only two types of traverse in common. The one, a closed traverse, and the another one is an open traverse. And what's the difference between an open traverse and a closed traverse? Of course, you can see it from the diagrams. Or for better understanding, let me just do an open traverse versus a closed traverse. An open traverse originates at point of known position and terminates at a point of unknown position. Which means an open traverse does not have the same point as start and end. Or in simple way, we can say post the coordinates of the start and end point must not be the same in open traverse where a closed traverse originates and terminates at point of known position. This means the start and end point of a closed traverse should be the same point. And that's it. So we learned what's a traverse and what are its types. Thank you dears for watching. See you next time.